Welcome everyone, this is Darkstar, and I've been getting some questions lately about, they want me to do more shows on the math, on betting specifically, and the Kelly Criterion, and all the rest of that. Now, to be honest, I'm not any kind of math genius, I'm not, the only math I do is just calculating the true count, okay, so you know, take the running count, divide that by how many decks left, and you have your true count. That's the most math I do, okay? Um, you can do a video on that, by the way, if I haven't already. I have to go back and check and see if I've done one on the difference between running count and true count. It's important everyone understands that. But this means you already understand that. And now you want to figure out how much to bet, right? There's a thing called the Kelly Criterion. And with that, you bet basically a percentage of your bankroll in direct proportion to the advantage that you have. Uh, it's not exactly one to one, but it's close to one to one. Okay, it's something like 0.9 to one or something like that. Where if you have a 1% edge, then you bet 1% of your bankroll. Okay, true Kelly, you'd have to constantly adjust your betting all the time as your bankroll fluctuates up and down. Betting true Kelly would give you a risk of ruin, in other words, a risk of losing the entire bankroll of around 13.5%. Okay, so what a lot of pros do is they bet half Kelly. And half Kelly is about as risky as I would want to get. So half Kelly would give you a risk of ruin of around seven and a quarter percent or something like that. Okay, like I said, I'm not awesome with the math, see? So I might be a little off on that, but it's around a little over seven percent risk of ruin if you bet half Kelly. Okay, so that's what I've done here. This is a computer program called CVCX, Casino Verite Chapter 10, all right? And it's called Chapter 10 because it's based on Don Schlesinger's book, Blackjack Attack, an excellent book, by the way. Um, I would recommend the book. I would also recommend getting this computer program, CVCX, from Casino Verite. And while I'm on the topic of recommending things, by the way, a podcast that I listen to all the time, which is awesome, which is called Gambling with an Edge. It's hosted by Bob Dancer and Richard Munchkin. Richard Munchkin is a member of the Blackjack Hall of Fame, and he has some excellent advice on Blackjack. He also, by the way, does recommend this program, uh, Casino Verite Chapter 10. I don't get anything, by the way, for recommending any of these things, and I don't think Richard does either, but don't quote me on that. Uh, anyway, I just thought I would give a shout out to that podcast. You can find it on YouTube called Gambling with an Edge. Um, or I believe it's on Apple Podcasts and a lot of other places too anyway. So enough on that. But you definitely want to use this program to figure out what you should be betting. Okay. Now, I picked an arbitrary bankroll here of 25000 I think that's reasonable for most of the people that would be listening to this or watching this video. Okay. If you have a much larger bankroll than that, awesome, just put it in. You input that in there. Um, and then you input all this other stuff too. How many decks you're playing with, okay? I put in six. This is an actual game that I play. That's not my actual bankroll, but this is an actual game that I play. Six decks. Um, you can put in how many play players at the table, in this case four. You can do a lot of other things too when you actually set up the the simulation, but I'm not going to go through all the things of how to use the software. I just want to illustrate a couple things here. So these are the rules. You, dealer hits soft 17. You can double after split. You can surrender, which is kind of rare to find that. And you can resplit your aces, okay? I can generally find penetration there of five decks out of six being dealt, okay? That's pretty good. It's not always that good. It depends a little bit on the dealer, but I can find tables just about every time I go there. With that kind of penetration all right you can look here the computer program will recommend bets okay but normally what I, there's a lot of debate on cover i'm going to do another show coming up here on cover um maybe that's why the gambling with an edge podcast was on my mind richard munchkin has recently said that he doesn't use any or he doesn't recommend he claims to be retired by the way he doesn't recommend using any cover at all. So 
If you don't use any cover at all, then you can bet like this. Now, maybe if he listens to this, and maybe I'll send him an email, maybe he will clarify and say, well, wait a minute, I didn't mean, you know, being that extreme. Okay, he does say, by the way, I will clarify this, he does not ever recommend splitting tens, okay? Because basically, if you split tens, you're either an idiot or a card counter, and they'll know pretty quickly that you're not an idiot. That leaves only one option, okay? So that's the one cover that he recommends. Anyway, back to this. So you can set all these parameters, and then it will tell you what you should be betting, and it'll tell you what your risk is going to end up being. If that's too high a risk for you, you can play around with these things, okay? Say, make your unit 50 instead of 100. So if your unit is 50, then you'd bet 50 at 1. You'd bet 100 at 2. Okay, maybe 150 at 3. And then you'd go up to 200, okay? Let's see what happens there. That cuts your risk of ruin just about in half, okay? It also cuts down on your win rate. Now you're making $31 an hour. Before you were making about $39 an hour, right? 100, 200, 200. Yeah, almost $40 an hour, okay? But that's for everyone to decide. If you can live with making a little bit less money, oops, this might look much more attractive to you because you're giving up $8 an hour, $9 an hour, but you're cutting your risk in half. So maybe $9 an hour is worth cutting your risk in half. Maybe. Um, that's about the risk I play with, by the way, in real life, about 3%. Okay. Um, cost me a little more than $9 because, like I said, a different bankroll. But anyway, and this thing will spit out a lot of things. Now, this is, you see all this empty space here? There's tons of more charts and information that this thing will spit out. But I limited it to this because this is the only thing that I care about, okay? This is going to show you right here if you play for eight hours, and you can change that, obviously. But if you play for eight hours, you're going to be expected your average is going to be $249. You're almost never going to hit the average exactly, but that's the average. All right? And this is your basically your standard deviations here, okay? So 66.7% of the time, that's basically, that's basically uh, one standard deviation from the norm. You're going to either lose almost $1,600 or make a little over $2,000. Two standard deviations, which will happen 90, covers 95% of the time. You're going to be in somewhere in the range of negative 3,400, almost 3,500, to almost 4,000. Okay, And then three standard deviations, which will cover 99% of the time. So there's only a 1% chance that you would lose more than $4,600 or make more than $5,100. Okay? So your results are going to fall somewhere in these ranges, usually somewhere within this two standard deviation range. At least that's been my experience. Usually it's going to be somewhere in here. Okay. So that's what I do to figure out that that's about the math I do. I use a computer program. I don't do this by hand. It takes way too much time. This program is not that expensive. I think it's around a hundred bucks and it's definitely worth a hundred bucks. That's basically, you know, one average bet okay so that hopefully that helps you guys out if you like these videos make sure you like them please subscribe and um, please leave your comments below also by the way I'm gonna put uh, a link below to uh, the website to get this software and also to uh, the gambling with an edge uh, um, YouTube page so you guys can check that out and um, any other links that I might think of, I'll put down below. So hopefully this ex helps explain some of the math for you guys. May the count be with you.